what you're looking at here is a diabolical mess. What you're looking at is a situation that uh, really, really upset me a lot. I've had this walk behind weed eater here for 15 years. Now the motor is still good. The motor is strong. It's a Briggs and Stratton. It's a 6.0 uh, Quantrum and it runs excellent. But uh, if we look over here, it decided to go ahead and get out on us. It's no good no more. It's broke and parts are obsolete. To be honest with you, I don't even know what brand this thing is. Here's another one right here. Uh, this was a Cub Cadet. I actually got this from my neighbor. Uh, he actually ran over it and bent the frame on it, the box, and I thought I'd be able to use it for some parts, but this is nothing like that. So it only led us to do one thing, and that is to buy a brand new one. So we went over to Home Depot, and we found this right here. Um, now I could have ordered a Toro or a higher end brand uh, at Home Depot and then they would have delivered it to my house, but it was like $200 more than this one. This was $350. It's made by a company called Legend Force. Like I said, I'm not really happy. That Made in America weed eater right there um, has served me for over 15 years and it was the best walk behind weed eater I ever used. So I'm not happy. I'm very upset. But we're going to go ahead and continue to make this video, this walk through video, this review of this thing called Legend Force. So I believe that this is a Home Depot exclusive because if you read the box in your fine print area, um, where was it at? I think this is an exclusive thing. Uh, okay, here it is right here. If you read up here in the corner, it says, for product warranty, please go to www.homedepotlegendforce.com or call the 1877 number. So I'm pretty sure this is an exclusive, kind of like um, if you go to Harbor Freight, earthquake uh, impacts are exclusive. You can't buy them anywhere else. So I'm thinking that this brand, this Legend Forest, is made for Home Depot only, and that's the only place you can get it. Now another thing is when I bought it, um, I asked them for a warranty. It was $55. I said, okay, so if it breaks down, how long is it? He said, three years. After the manufacturer warranty ends. Now, the warranty on this one is right here. And I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. It says, two-year residential warranty. I don't know what that means. Now, I'm thinking what that means is that you're not going to take it back to Home Depot in two years and say, this thing's a pile of junk. They only give you 90 days. If something happens in 90 days period of time you can take it back they'll give you a free one but what this means is I'm sure there's a card in here that you fill out or you get online and fill it out they got your name in the system with the receipt that you bought it that you're the you know the original owner and then they will direct you to a facility a repair facility that will fix it well when you live in a place like I do in Moab Utah you're not going to find a place to fix it so when the guy explained the warranty to me that it does not cover, it's not like a, uh, let me, what am I saying, trying to say here? If you buy something at Harbor Freight and you buy the warranty, you just take it back to them and you get a free one. As long, for however, however long the warranty is. If you buy a 10-year warranty with Harbor Freight, then for 10 years, 
whatever happens to that thing that you bought, you just take it back. They don't have no questions. Uh, you just get your free item and go down the road. Um, this right here, that is not how that works. What this type of warranty is, is a repair warranty. That means that once this warranty runs out, then their $55 three-year warranty kicks in, and then it is repaired for free. But, hold on a minute. You need to read the fine print because the guy told me that does not cover some parts. And I said, what parts are those? I said, let me guess, the carburetor. He said, that's exactly right. It does not, car it does not cover the carburetor. It does not cover the belt. It does not cover spark plugs or broken cables. Well, what does it cover then? He goes, everything but what it says it doesn't cover. And one more thing, I'm going to let you know, this is made in China. So let's go ahead and open it up and uh, see what we got in this thing. And they actually had two of them there. One of the boxes was crushed, and I didn't want to mess with it. Um, I always have bad luck. If I buy something and the box looks like it's crushed, I always have bad luck, so I kind of stay away from Okay, so I see right off the bat, um, it does come with oil. We'll have to add our oil to it. Uh, and I'm sure it's, yeah, Legend Force Oil, there you go. And I'm sure it tells you if you want your machine to run good forever, buy Legend Force. Um, it comes with a package with, look what we got here, guys. I can't believe they put this in a package. This is kind of stupid. But I guess, whatever. <laughs> Alright, this is actually the weed eater line that goes on it. They actually made a special case just for it. Um, wow. Huh. What I do is I buy this 100 foot roll for like $14 and then that's what I use. And it comes with a cutter. Um, you just pull it out and you cut it right there. And it works very well. And this will last super long time. So the first thing we see, or should I say the second or third thing, it's already got some weed eater line already attached to it. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, the first thing that we see is we got our uh, use and care guide manual. And then it's also got the hardware to uh, mount the handle on it. So it looks like it's an easy situation of putting it together. Um, another thing that comes with it is a... Uh, spark plug handle to change your spark plugs out with. You can see that right there. And then there's this uh, book right here. Uh, Pulsar Products, U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and California Exhaust and Evaporative Emission Control Warranty Statement. So this is a specific uh, dedicated uh, um, manual or should I say a, a ledger for the state of California. But I thought that you couldn't buy it in California. I thought California banned all this gas stuff. You know. Um, look at this here. This is kind of odd and unusual. Um, which is actually pretty cool. But, uh, so, I mean, you know. If nobody knows what this is, I'll go ahead and tell you. Alright, this is actually a paper funnel for our oil. So I'm really not happy that I didn't pay the extra, uh, what was it, $150 or 175 bucks to get the American-made ones. But then on the other hand, let's be really truthful here. Is the other one made in America? I don't know. I know the other ones had Briggs and Stratton engines on them, not uh, Legend Force, something that we don't know about. This is what I'm uh, uh, very skeptical of buying this is the carburetor. If this thing breaks down and nine out of ten times the main thing that goes wrong with these type of uh, items is it's the, always the carburetor that goes bad. And where am I going to find a filter for this? Is that a proprietary thing that I have to go to Home Depot to buy an air filter for it? Do you kind of get what I'm getting at here? If you buy uh, a, a Toro or possibly a Craftsman and it's got a Briggs and Stratton on it, you can get parts anywhere. You can go to Napa Auto Parts, CarQuest. But on this particular thing here, that's one thing I don't like 
is that it's a proprietary uh, uh, machine and there's probably only one place where you can get parts for it. Okay, before we take it off the truck bed, I want to uh, go over the deck with you. Um, on the back of it here, uh, I'll show you. on the back of it, it has a nice uh, rubber uh, flap here. We can call this a mud flap or possibly a debris flap that will keep uh, uh, debris from flying up into you uh, as you're using it. Um, how long that will last, I don't know. Probably not really that long. Um, the whole thing's made out of rubber, and it looks pretty flimsy and cheap. Um, if we come around the front, uh, you can see where I put them two screws on. And it does have a full metal guard. This is all metal um, wrapped around to keep the debris from flying up at you again. So I do like this versus the one that I had for over 15 years. Um, I don't like these tires. I don't like these wheels. Uh, they're plastic. They're cheap. They're inexpensive. Um, well, we're going to go test this out. This is basically my yard. Um, I'll explain to you that I do live in the desert. I live in Moab, Utah. And grass doesn't grow where I live. The only thing that grows is weeds. So we're going to go over and test this out. Uh, I have weeds, rock, and dirt in my yard. Uh, this actually has an adjustable uh, deck or adjustable, um, what can we say, weed eater line holder. Um, and then I'm going to go over, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you how you put your weed eater line on as well. So I'm going to get a wrench because I want to lower this down all the way to the bottom. I don't want this play here. And it looks like what it is, it's two, uh, it looks like 10 millimeter bolts. And to give you a better look at what we're talking about, you can see right here, uh, these are basically just stopper bolts that slide up and down this shaft. And then you tighten them up, and then that's basically how you adjust it. And then we just lowered it as low as it will go down to the ground. That's it. Um, let's go ahead and take a gander at the way the weed eater line's put on. Um, the way that this is put on, you basically make a loop out of your weed eater line uh, whatever size you want to make it I mean you can go a little long that's about it right there and you stick it through the the hoop right here this ring and you push it in there and then it hooks on another ring in the back and then you pull it this way so it seems like it's a very easy situation on replacing the weed eater line as you need to replace it okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put some gas in it um, if this is a continual run, meaning that you hold that down and it runs all the time, I'm not too happy with it. I would rather have one that actually runs and you can adjust uh, how fast you actually want it to go. So, but once again, this is new millennial action going on here. Now, believe it or not, a camera person used to do all the weed eating. That was like a hobby of hers, am I right? I did all the yard work. That was kind of a hobby of yours. You like doing that. Yeah. But now it's like you don't want to do it anymore. You kind of force it on me. Okay. Uh, let me get this on here. Okay, so that's on there. 
Now remember to change the weed eater line, you have to tip it over. That means you got to turn it off. So we're going to go ahead and start this. Um, I don't know if I like this thing. I really, really don't. Uh, it just doesn't seem like it's giving me a lot of action here to really get it going good. Um, to start it, you come up in the front here where the carburetor is. Get me in the body shot. Did you girl. read the directions? Yes. Okay, so we come over here, and this thing here, you want to push it in three or four times. It says three, but since it's brand new, we're going to go four or five. And then, of course, you put your uh, pull cable up here, through there, like you saw me do. And then... Okay, just like I expected... This is a continuous run weed eater. This is not a weed eater like that one where you can literally control how fast you want it to go. So the main thing that we got going on out here in Moab is um, tumbleweeds. What do they call them? Russian something? Russian thistle or something. Okay, some so shit. I don't know. that's the main some, thing. This is a, what you're looking it's at. It's an evasive weed that got here. Yeah. I don't know how. But. I can't use a lawnmower due to the fact that we got rocks and a lot of rocks out here. Uh, so this is the next best thing. So, here we go. We got it together. We opened the box. We showed you the box. I need to get these ants out of here. We need that ant stuff. They're going to go in our house. Let's see how this Legend Force does, and hopefully it's something. You know, they call that 173 cc. Why can't they just say a three horsepower? Who or a five a horsepower? Fuck? I mean, you know, they, make, they use these big numbers to make it sound like it's a big deal. Who cares, Pete? A lot of people care. Nobody cares as long as it. Do you see my knee? As long as it works. Do you see, this, do you see how I'm walking? Works. Well, you deserved it for That's how you That's because I tripped today. and fell this well, morning. Should have been acting the way you are. Okay, hold on now. I just pulled this. It's brand new. I paid 380 bucks for it, and I pulled it twice. You shouldn't and have it let didn't off. start. That's because you didn't punch the little red yeah. button. that one over there. I don't. Once it starts, so, I don't have to punch buttons. So that's brand new. So keep yelling. I'm fixing to turn the fucking thing off. Oh, wow. Oh. Did you just see what I just saw? He did that the first time. I it's saw smoke new. come out of the exhaust. It's brand new, Pete. Are we talking that we got bad rings? What's going on with that? Pete, if you keep this up, and your, your stiff leg walking is an act. Can you see the smile on his face, everybody? He's laughing now. He's laughing a lot because he's fucking bullshitting all of you out there. Biggest bullshitter. You see what color his eyes are. That's because he's full of fucking shit. Sit in the car. We don't need to film the rest of it. It's working just great. No, it ain't working it's great. It's done. I don't like it. Well, good. I'm glad you don't fucking like it, Pete. I am done filming you. You're acting like a fucking ass. The video's over now. Keep limping like you are. I'm like turning this off. Okay. Punch the red button, dumbass. The red button. Pete. I shouldn't have to punch red buttons for three hundred and eighty dollars. Every machine, my lawnmower that I used all the time, you had to do that every time, Pete. No, no. So quit acting like a dumbass. I don't believe it. Well, you're, you know, just because you don't want to doesn't mean you don't have to. See there? Oh, 
Okay, um, what you're looking at, this is the third time I've changed the line on this, and I'm not going to lie to you, don't use the orange line. The orange line is junk, and to change the line on this, you have to, scare, you have to carry a flat screwdriver with you to actually change the line out, and hope you don't cut your hand doing it. Um, to change the line out in this thing is very, very extreme and pain in the ass. It's not freaking easy. Uh, what I've done, and I'm going to show you, has taken me 45 minutes with this crap. I can't even get cutters in there to cut the line. Um, yeah, so we got to pick at it with a screwdriver to get this off. And I don't want to get my hand in the way. There it is, right there. Look. Wow. Um, it took seven pulls to get it started. This is brand new, $385 with tax. Um, I'm glad I didn't pay for the warranty because the warranty ain't worth a shit. Uh, we'll be taking this back for a full refund. This thing is a pile of shit. Do not buy it. It is fucking total junk and um, not worth it. If you are doing what I'm doing out here in the dirt and the rocks, See all the rocks and all the gravel? If you're doing what I'm doing, this machine is not made for you. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Uh, probably going to have to change that wire out pretty soon. And I probably won't even get done with the yard. It'll probably be dark and I'll have to come back out here tomorrow morning. Because my whole fucking day has been nothing but shambles and, and nightmares over weed eating. That's all I've been doing all day. That's it. It took me uh, three and a half hours to go to Home Depot to buy this pile of shit. Um, my uh, uh, good weed eater busted, and I'm stuck with this thing. Uh, yeah, it will be going back. So uh, my review is, let me go ahead and get it up. Okay, my review of the Legend Force 173cc is no, 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 junk. Stay away from it. Don't buy it. Spend the extra $150, $200 and get the professional made in the USA model and go down the road and do the work that you need to do to get the job done right. Because this pile of shit doesn't do it right. Fuck, 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 fuck men's vagina shit. Shitting fucking cum buzzard shit. Fucking owl shit. Pissing shit, vaginal discharge, shitting fucking cock. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. 
fucking shit on my fucking cock, you fucking bitch. Shit on my cock, you fucking bitch. Well, there you go. There's your legend forced made in China junk right there. This will be going back to the store to get a full refund. Um, I'm not happy with it. It's a pile of shit. I ended up changing the string on that thing. Oh, that's it. Needs it again. Yeah, it does. Look at that. And what took me a half an hour to do with this one, all right, what took me a half an hour to do with American Made Craftsman uh, 6.0 horsepower Optima Briggs and Stratton. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. Take your legend force, put it in China's ass, and please don't bring it back. Eat it. Keep it. Flush it down the Chinese toilet. Do whatever you got to do with it. This is junk. Pure junk. There's nothing else I can say about it. If you don't like it, then I don't know what to tell you, okay? I saw a lot of reviews on there. I didn't see one bad review. Every single review on this thing was like the most awesome review you could get. Well, I can tell you this, and you can bank on this. This is a true, authentic uh, review, and I'm telling you now, this thing is a piece of shit. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, over here at whatever channel this is. I don't even know. DIY Auto School, Southwest Rod and Custom, my friend Pete, who knows what it is. We got junk, we got scrap iron, we got scrap aluminum, and most of all, we got Chinese shit right here. Fuck, 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 cock, cock. China, minge, 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 penis, shitting, fuck, 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 cock, cock, piss, 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 fucking, fucking cock. Come buzzard, shitting fucking Christ, fuck shit 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 fuck cock fucking 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 cock fuck.